Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. Welcome to another tutorial. And here we will be seeing how to change the clothes in a portrait shot and go from this to this. So just last time around, the last video that I showed you was using this particular completely free AI tool called Replace Anything. So where I showed a product shot where you can change the background. If you haven't seen that video, the link is on top. You can watch it out later because the absolute basics are covered in that particular video. But to be frank, if you've not seen that one and you are just seeing this tool for the first time, even this video is fine because it's a very simple tool to use. So I've given this image to you. You will be able to download it via the description in the video. The link is given there. Also the link to this completely free AI tool is also given in the description. So let's get started. This time things are gonna be slightly more challenging, okay? So first of all, the moment you come on the home page here, you have to go to this scroll down and go to this image create tab this is first of all where we will have to upload our image so let me do that all right so we've got our image here and if you've seen the last video how this tool works is that first of all once the image gets uploaded you just have to select something that you want to retain and then you type in the prompt to change the other things in the uh, in the shot whatever is not selected right so last time we had a ketchup bottle we were easily able to select the bottle and then just write in a prompt uh, and it changed the background. But this time, what we're trying to do here is slightly more different. We're trying to change only his jacket to some other color or a different looking jacket. Now that's gonna be a bit of a problem because what you can see here, like I showed you last time around also, once you get this cursor, we can start clicking on the object that we wanna retain, right? So let's do that. So for example, if I click somewhere on the jacket here, it's going to take one or two clicks, as we saw last time, before it kind of gets the whole thing. Sometimes, as you can see, it gets it on the first go. Now, here's the problem. It has been able to select the jacket very well, but if you think of it, right now, we're telling this tool that this is what is supposed to be retained, right? So if I was to go ahead and type in a prompt like yellow jacket or a pink jacket, something like that, it would actually try to retain this jacket. That means this jacket won't change, but the other things in the shot it'll try to change according to the prompt and that won't make any sense. And till now, whatever I've tried here in this tool, uh, there's no direct way to like, let's say, invert this selection. That means we can say that, you know what, retain everything else apart from what is being selected. At least till now, I haven't been able to uh, figure that out in this particular tool. So the question is, then how do we do it? Because then our only option is we start clicking on everywhere else except for the jacket so that it selects that and it retains it. But I've already tried it. It's not that advanced and it'll take you a lot of work to get the selection right because we just want to avoid the jacket. So this is the area where I, even in my last video, I talked about this particular thing where if you go inside this option, which says more input parameters, here we have this mask image option. That means you can actually upload a black and white mask, just like a layer mask we create in Photoshop. And then it'll use that as the selection. And this will be much, much easier for you to do. So let me show you how this trick works. But basically what we wanna do is, we wanna get a selection in which everything is selected except for the jacket. So it'll be able to retain that and then only change the jacket via the prompt, right? So I've got this image open up in Photoshop and you're gonna find out this is gonna be very easy to do in Photoshop because the selection tools are really much more advanced. So here I'm gonna be using the AI object selection tool, but in case you're using like, let's say any other version of Photoshop, which doesn't have these AI tools, you can even use for this method, the quick selection tool. It'll work in a very similar way. So let's get started. I'm gonna use the object selection tool. Let me just slightly zoom into this image. And right now, let's do that. Let's only select the jacket so that later on we'll be able to invert it. So with this tool, or the object selection tool, make sure your mode is lasso so that we can manually draw around areas which we wanna select. So right now, let's say, let's select the first part of this, the left part of this jacket. So I'm just gonna draw around it. And something like this. And hopefully that should be able to select only this black jacket and avoid the hand. So you can see this time it's taken the hand in. So what we'll have to do is whenever you want to subtract from a selection, we hold down Alt or Option in Photoshop. You can see it goes to the subtraction mode and then just over 
or rather encircle the hand so it's going to remove it from the selection and sometimes these areas it can take so whenever you need to add to the selection oops i pressed that by mistake whenever you need to add to the selection you hold down shift so you can see now it's in the addition part and that hopefully should solve it so you can see we've got this part let me do the same thing again just to save time i'm going to be doing exactly the same thing basically adding this to the selection also and in case it takes the hand i'm going to be removing that also all right so finally now if you see just took us a few seconds we've been able to get a good selection of this now what we're going to do here is we ultimately want the black and white layer mask that we can upload in replace anything so what we're going to do here is just open up a layer mask first of all so you can see the moment i hit the layer mask option it comes here and right now if i hit alt option and then hit on the layer mask click on the layer mask basically so alt option and click on the layer mask i actually see the layer mask and what is the layer mask in photoshop the white areas reveal the selection or it represents the selection and the black areas represent the areas which have not been selected right now if you think of it what we want to upload and replace every uh, anything is the opposite of this right so here in photoshop it's very easy to do that because all we all i need to do is if i double click on this layer mask and get this properties window which comes by default actually and here if i just hit this invert option we actually get that black and white layer mask that we want okay now the question is let me just zoom out a bit now the question is how do we export this as an image like we want this black and white version as an image that we can upload and replace everything right so here's the trick to it you can hold down control command a that is basically you know like how you select all the shortcut for select all and then we are going to go to file new and it's going to make sure when you open a new document the the size width and the height remains of your original image because you had made that selection then hit create so it creates this new document right and then what we need to do here is we just need to paste so control command v so so before that sorry we have to copy this so we just hit control command c for copy we go here and control command v for paste and we get this now can you see that this is a separate layer this is not a layer mask anymore so what we can do now is we can actually export this as an image so let's do that by going to file export as and let's make sure the quality is the highest so i'm just going to export it save it as a normal jpeg image and then let's upload this in replace anything so let's do that right, so i'm just going to call it mask image and save it so now we've got this saved now let's go back to replace anything and what we're going to do is let's just kind of um, click on this undo option so it's just going to undo whatever selections we had made earlier because this time the selection will come from the image itself okay so it's just going to take some time sometimes even when you undo things but let's just get back to the original image if you want you could even just click on the close icon and opened up the image again all right we are back to our original image this time no selection has been made here because we are going to go down right here again to the more input parameters and we're going to upload our mask image here so let's do that so here it is mask image the same image that i exported from photoshop so now just think of it like this this is representing the selection the white areas are representing these the selected part so we are telling this tool retain those areas don't change that when we type the prompt black area you can change right so now it's very easy because if i just go here i can type in let's say yellow jacket or anything that you want and let's run this and hopefully we should be able to get good results all right so here are the results you can see it'll give you four variations this is the first one the second one third one and fourth so sometimes you'll have to like just type in more details in the prompt right now i'm just showing you how the basics of it works but as you can see here before actually i talk about this point one more thing that you can do is let's say you wanted a specific type of jacket so right here we just typed in yellow jacket but let's say you already uh, maybe you are selling something on e-commerce or something and you just want this person to be wearing whatever you're selling then you can also like i showed you in the last product photo video you can also in this reference image option you can also upload that image of that particular jacket in this example and then it's going to try to maintain uh you know here 
So you'll get that result right here also. So that's also a very powerful feature, especially if you are into e-commerce or something. Another advantage of using this particular tool as compared to, for example, I had made some time back a video on some other clothes uh, swapping AI tools, right? If you haven't seen that video, the link is on top. You can check it out. There, if you remember, if you've already seen that video, it did something similar, but it changes the body shape and other things around the clothes, right? That's one advantage of this tool. Yes, it involves like slightly a more amount of work, but you can see that it doesn't really change anything in the subject. So this is like as close to an actual cloth swap that you can do. And this can be great for a lot of people. So again, I'm still experimenting with this tool. I do plan on creating more uh, videos with this tool. So keep an eye out on that. And just like last time, once you're finally happy with something, okay, you've tried in with uh, things with different prompts, just hit this download button. The image will be a downscaled image like I talked about in the last video. That's the of, and that's understandable. It's a free tool. But that's the only downside. But like I showed you in the last video, you can go to a free uh, tool like this, like Upscale Media. I'll leave the link in the description. Just upload your downscaled image and it's going to upscale it. So there'll be no issue at all. So if you are someone you're interested in photo editing with the help of AI these days, then that's what I'm doing these days on my YouTube channel. So if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in another tutorial very soon. Bye for now.